he really doesn't like my offer, guys. He, he doesn't want to be safe. He wants to live out here in the dangerous wildlands. It's not good for you. And welcome back to episode two of Pokethine season three, everybody. So last time we got ourselves a Trico from our starter. We got Talo, one of them. This is not the same one. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. And we got a Sfeel. So overall, the, the second Sfeel I caught off camera was the best Sfeel I had overall. This one, absolutely incredible. And then this is, I caught about six or seven Talos. This is the best one I've got gotten so you want attack and speed maybe special attack in there also kind of depends on the generation for his move set i looked through gen 3 moves because i figured that would be his most uh common and it seems most of them would be physical so I've, i'm gonna train him in phys actually i already trained him in physical attack he's got 29 attack ivs 20 speed ivs and a boosted attack nature it sucks that his special defense is dropped by his nature and that he has low special defense iv so he's not gonna take a hit as well as i would like him to but it's still good walrein he's all hp and special defense and then trico's all speed and special attack everyone's completely trained up in their evs everyone's got full set of evs so we are all good i've done ev train them so the way i did this because i meant to have this in episode one but i didn't talk about it so because of EV training it levels up your Pokemon and it's extremely hard to level your Pokemon in EV training without over leveling them for generation 3 gems since we have a level cap before we take on the gems of 25 so we're probably going with 23 and 24 see how we do so our Pokemon still listen to us in case they get levels along the way but what I did is because Pokemon outside of generations of their wrong generation especially going backwards do not learn XP they do not earn it we took our Pokemon and we took them to gen 1 and I use my training evs like my bracelet my anklets and all that and then i trained them up that way in ev training so they got their ev training and they had absolutely no levels gained on them so that means i can sit here and level them up and explore with you guys at the exact same time as we're supposed to and not have to worry about over leveling the gym so i don't have to worry about that level balance if you guys are working on gen 3 or gen 4 or anything with gems and this thing for pokefine i highly recommend doing that because it's super super useful and it helps you so much so we need to start getting up our taylo that's that's our main goal at the moment See, the main reason we want to get Talo up at the moment is just because he's our lowest level. So we're going to throw the EXP share on him, and I'm going to start training up our Trico. Trico is going to be our strongest Pokemon, and I don't know what typing what the gym is so it's going to be really really interesting i wonder if we can actually check with our pokey year we'll have to check outside of this battle because we can't update our inventory thank you meow for fainting so i know they give you like a level for gyms but i don't think they tell you everything about the gym so let's go ahead and open up gym badges for this region okay allows trainer experience to level 15 so we don't have that yet i think we get a 10 max allows to use pokemon up to level 35 telling me with what someone else told me it's about 10 levels for what you're allowed to do before they stop listening before the gym so 25 is our cap but it doesn't say what a type of gym or if gyms have a specific typing like in the games in the anime so this is going to be really really interesting i think trico is going to be our big shot here he's got mega drain which is really cool i hope we can get leaf, Tor leaf storm on him at some point uh we're definitely going to have leaf blade but i want a very good uh special type leaf move which uh i mean maybe giga drain might be our best bet if he learns that i have no idea if he learned he learns absorb and mega drain so i'm assuming at some point he can learn giga drain he just might not naturally learn it so it's gonna be a uh, real interesting to be overall now i also did find the move maniac which is the move relearner in this generation same thing as gen one but it's in sleepy hollow i do believe but actually i might be wrong about that but it's the same thing as gen one so it's a move relearner not a move teacher so it doesn't teach moves we don't have or we could possibly learn it's everything that we've learned in the past so being such a low levels they have nothing like pound scratch leer and a lot of the moves they already have so there's not even on there for any of them which is completely all good because you actually can't use the movie learners from gen 1 into gen 3 so uh, for gen 3 pokemon at least so and it kind of makes sense so we need we seriously we're about to get our actually we should get grovile here after this battle depending on how much xp he splits it should be half so i mean i'm not exactly sure it should give him the three percent he needs though to get over level come on my dude get up to a grovile it will make him so much stronger for our squad these are the three mo main pokemon that we're rocking we might pick up some more along the way but these are the ones that I want to rock out with for our squad, for our main team. And yes, Trico is evolving. Let him evolve. Please, where is he? There's my Grovile. Look at your boy. Look at him grow. Let go. Grow, grow, 
Oh, grow. Fury Cutter, very good. Get rid of Leer for that. Actually, we probably could have got rid of Absorb and kept Fury Cutter and a Leer for a little longer, but we're all good there. We still have Absorb just in case we need it. So, we've actually got a good squad of Pokemon here. I think we need to go to a different area. Uh, these, see, the thing is, I just see so many Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon. I don't know if it's because I'm a new level or because there's so few people currently on Gen 3 because I am recording this late at night. But I don't know at the moment. Terry can keep. I don't think we really need to go there. I think that's right next to the Battle Tower, which is the only reason I have it unlocked. We could go to Springdale or Maya Keep. Oh, let's go to Maya Keep. I want to see what they have. It's it's pink slash purple. Maya Keep. This is where the Maniac move is. It's right up there. But I want to know what psychic types they could have and stuff here. Because, it you know, Mystical Keep, it, it, Maya Keep, plus the pink and purple, like, lettering. And I would just assume that this is a psychic type spawn area and like spooky hollows is ghost. So that's what I'm really hoping for. So we're going to hang out for a little bit, probably train and see if we can find a good capture for us. We might use them on the team or not, but we might figure out what we want to use on the team if we don't use them, even because of IVs or whatever. So it could still be a good scouting mission. Plus, catch any rare Pokemon that we see along the way for the decks while it's easy enough for us to do. Okay, guys, so there is a Spinarak and a Silcoon here. We're going to battle this Spinarak. We're trying to get XP on all of our Mons at the moment. So mainly Grovile because he's going to be our big boy, I think, in the gyms. Trico, Sceptile, they're all just really powerful Mons. So we're going to go grind him up, level him up first. That's our main goal at the moment. So we're gonna take down this oh he did so much health with that oh my god well bug super effective on grass i guess that makes sense maybe i should go with mega drain again or uh, this time instead of quick attack to get some health but i think he's gonna kill grove out here no matter what so we're gonna have to give the xp to someone else yet yeah, leech life unless it misses which i don't think leech life does leech life have a chance to miss i don't think it does plus you know critical hit you know that helps him up Plus, it heals him, which is, you know, kind of ridiculous. So, we'll just send out Taylor. No big deal at all to get Taylor out there, get him some levels. Taylor is going to be absolutely killer. I can't wait to have a Swellow to have a fully evolved team. I'm so excited to get back into a bit of Pokefine. This is going to be so fun. Well, we defeated the Fainer, uh, the Spinarak. 68 experience points. It's so low. We're almost level 10, which is our level cap. So, we want to capture this Silcoon. The reason we want to capture this Silcoon is because, obviously, it's a third gen Pokemon. We don't have it in the decks. But mainly because Wurmple is its pre-evolution. So it goes Wurmple, Sweet, uh, Silcoon. But it can also evolve into both Beautify or Dustock. So we need multiple versions of them. Ooh, there's another Silcoon. We're going to go capture that as well. We need multiple Silcoons or Wurmples. So we can actually have the decks filled. Because it's only a 50% chance whether you're going to get Beautify or Dustox. And there's no way to know which one you're going to get. It's not like, oh, during the day or during the night or certain stone or anything. It's so now we're here in... We're going to battle this Execute. Now, Execute is really weird, obviously, for us to be battling because it's a Gen 1 Pokemon. We're going to Wing Attack it. We're just going for XP here. The thing with Gen 3 is I've seen so many Gen 1 and Gen 3, po uh, Gen 2, I mean, not Gen 3 Pokemon. It's kind of insane. I've caught just about every Gen 3 Pokemon I've seen so far, which is kind of ridiculous. If you think about it, I mean, it's just really, really weird. So we're going to keep traveling. We're going to have it head down these paths and see what cities we can find maybe find some new pokemon but also just start unlocking teleporting warp so when we want to teleport to specific cities we have that availability to hey there's a lady bus so we definitely want to battle this uh we don't see a whole lot of pokemon so we just need to take in what xp we get reminded that a level cap of 25 is our goal uh 24 actually to take on the gym and that's what we're going to be doing and we're about 15 across the board at the moment so hopefully we can get some good levels along the way but we're going to keep going at it and hopefully we can find something that's actually worth it at some point you know what guys this actually is really cool i like this area this is a big reminder of the swamp area i'm pretty sure in the first gen uh which is i think smog town it has a very similar vibe but i think it's layout it's probably just a little bit better swamp town or smog city or whatever it is smog town i'm pretty sure in gen one it just kind of crisscrosses a bunch you can't keep track of anything this kind of feels more like overly shape i guess you know it feels more direct i think they were getting better with the mapping each and every time but i'm still exploring the map you know so i haven't had the exact layout of everything yet well look at all these pokemon they're all gen 1 pokemon on my radar i'm not finding anything that's actually worth like battling or catching i mean battling i can battle anything especially since we kind of cheated in ev training but i mean it's not cheating if you just kind of loophole your system like that i mean we're going to 
EV train in Gen 1, obviously, so we don't get experience and overlevel in Generation 3. It's just the smart play to do. Plus, it's easier for me to EV train in Gen 1 because I actually know all the Pokemon there and their best spawn uh, places for the best EVs. So it's really, really easy, actually. But this, this is neat. I like this. So they obviously still have each town that kind of represents its same typing. So this would be... Ooh, hi, little Gulbian. So this is a small town, like I said before. So it's going to be poison types, most likely. The things that were like Arbok, maybe a couple rare psychic types. Execute was close to this town, but not on the edge or inside of it. We're actually going to heal up while we're here. Um, Arkin, uh, I said Arkins, Ekans, Arbok, Coughing, things like that would spawn here. I'm trying to think of any specific two gym Pokemon that would spawn here. Um, maybe some grass poison types because a lot of grass types are usually poison types once you reach this hit generation I think Bulbasaur was the first one. Hey Roselia. Yo, we got to get to this. Okay 83 so we have to go straight The reason we want this Roselia is because it evolves from Badoo, which we haven't seen yet obviously But the reason it's so important is because Badoo is just like Crobat. Badoo evolves with happiness So to evolve it, it's insane. You have to get it a max of 220 happiness Which means training it leveling up not having a die because each time it Faints, it loses happiness. Where is it? Oh, it's right across the water over there. Yes, let's go and get it. But the thing is with that, trying to train up a happiness Pokemon is so incredibly difficult, especially for stage ones. Go back to Crobat's not all that bad because it's already a second stage evolution and it's pretty strong, so you don't have to worry about it as much. But this is kind of insane doing it from Badoo to Roselia. And then Roselia obviously eventually goes into Roserade, which this just saves us a lot of time. So come on. You want to catch Roselia? You just, you just, you're wasting my Pokeballs here, man. You just, you just got to get in the Pokeball. You want to add to the decks. You got a PC full of friends. Trust me, it's going to be an absolute fantastic time. You're going to, you're going to love it, Roselia. And it's all the treats in the world. You don't have to worry about going hungry. You don't have to worry about friends or safety. You just stay in there and you'll be nice and fine. He, he really doesn't like my offer, guys. He, he doesn't want to be safe. He wants to live out here in the dangerous wildlands. It's not good for you, Roselia. Just come with me. Here we go finally you know what? enough persuasion without being too pushy and the customer always comes right running towards you don't take that for free actual advice uh no yeah that's joke advice i i never know what i can take to to the limits with youtube i'm still learning but this is all good oh i am you this is a new town but i think this is where we're actually gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode everyone i know these episodes have been kind of short but i'm trying not to push it too much or we would kind of fly through everything but i hope you guys did enjoy we got a solid team of three now and we will be taking on the gym in two to three episodes so i hope you guys all did enjoy make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys all did and i'll see you all later rock stars peace peace